Hey guys, today we will be making t-shirts in Blender. First, I will teach you how to make a t-shirt in under a minute. Then we'll learn step by step the easiest way to make your model unique with texture painting, UV unwrapping, t-shirt designs in Photoshop, shading, cloth physics and much more. So let's start Blender. I will be scaling the cube down along Y axis till I can see its dimension is something like 0.3. You can see the scale values in the end panel on the side. And for the X axis, something like 1.3 Control a apply scale go to the edit mode Control r to make a loop cut scroll up the mouse wheel to make it 3 Control r again this time we will have at least uh, four edge loops now k to activate the knife tool we are going for a v-neck t-shirt so you should select these vertices and after selecting them move the mouse anywhere in the scene and press enter to confirm your selection now select the faces we need to delete also the bottom ones now press x delete all faces now shift select the side edge loops both of them press e to extrude now as to scale them out along x axis yep, something like that now ctrl r to add two more edge loops go to the modifiers tab now select subdivision surface set uh, both the values to 2 right click shade smooth now tap to go to the edit mode a to select all of the faces go to the front view then press u unwrap select smart uv project and now if we go to the uv editing tab we can see our uvs have been generated one thing if we do not want to use uvs just uh, put the material and the cloth physics settings and your work is done but this small step can make your t-shirts much more unique and by just doing this step only once you can create unlimited unique t-shirts i will fix the uvs by rotating them a little a to select all the faces and then r to rotate keep the control button pressed so it snaps to the angles okay it looks better now press new to create a new image name it if you want because we will be using this new image that we just created on our t-shirt model so now go to the shading tab shift a bring in an image texture connect color to color and select the new image we just created in the uv editor we didn't name it so it will be untitled and now our shirt is black i will quickly fix the shading I'm not doing anything super fancy here. I will just increase the roughness and metallic a little bit. That's it. Now go to the texture paint mode. Go to the front view. What we are doing here is to just uh, highlight the front, the back and even the sides if you want of our t-shirt. Now select the color of your own choice like um, any color and just paint right on top of it. Now you can see the front UVs are colored and highlighted. Now go to the back view by pressing ctrl 1, select a different color and paint it again. You can do it for the sides or for the sleeves, it's totally up to you. If you have a problem finding which face is which on the model, for that go to the edit mode and we can clearly see which faces are highlighted in the UV editor. So now I will just uh, save this image. Now open this image in Photoshop or GIMP or any software of your own choice. I'm gonna bring in a rectangle and uh, it has a white color so our t-shirt will be white I will reduce the opacity so we can work a little more now bring in any design of your own choice and put it right here on the front of the t-shirt now what we are creating is this white t-shirt with this design on the front now export this image you can change the name now open blender again go to the shading view now open the image we just created in photoshop and see our t-shirt is done with the design we wanted this whole step uh, in photoshop can also be done in blender but for new beginners doing in photoshop or gimp is super easy here i brought a cloth hanger you can make one easily i have a video how to make it i will give its link in the description so now select the hanger Go to the physics properties, select collision, friction to 24, uncheck single sided, check override normals. Now for the t-shirt, select cloth, 
than silk vertex mass 2.5 go all the way down in collision check self collision change distance to 0 0.015 in both collision and self collision now quality steps to 10 and if you press play now the t-shirt is hanging on the cloth hanger and if you want to make the animation i created it's not difficult at all select the hanger press i to insert a keyframe go ahead in the timeline to where you want the animation to end then press r to rotate the hanger along the z-axis and press i to insert a keyframe again and if you run the animation it won't work the t-shirt will fall down from the cloth hanger for that select the t-shirt go to cloth physics click on cache here into the end frame for the cloth animation i will enter 120 and press big and now when we press play we have an animation see it was so simple but you will say it's just one t-shirt where are the unlimited amount of t-shirts i was talking about and I am gonna say you can clearly make a new t-shirt super easily. For that, just duplicate this t-shirt in Photoshop, change the color of the rectangle. I will also change the sides and the sleeve color by making it white. Now save the image. And in the shading tab, press 2 to make the material unique. Then open the new shirt we created. And just like that, we now have another unique t-shirt. How cool is that? This is the scene I created for the animation you saw earlier. Hope you liked the video and if you did then give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon in my next video. Take care till then and happy blending.